You clicked on this video because you want to see the biggest flops of the previous year. Well, good job, because that's what you're going to get. Let's have a look at the worst games of 2015. Kicking it off with a game which had so much hype and then boom, it's released and did I enjoy it? Hell no, that's why I didn't buy it. I played the beta, the heads up display is clunky and your gun just takes up so much room on your screen. And you're always going through a house, like do them terrorists really like houses? And Jesus, come on, give me another game mode apart from me just running around a house looking like I've lost my keys or something. I don't know, it's just not fun. It's so repetitive. Please, give me something better. Wow. Another Assassin's Creed game? Meh. I don't care. Never played them apart from a potato looking one on my PSP when I was 13. But hey, I'm sure it has improved loads. Oh, wait, no. No, it hasn't. <laughs> if you love people walking into walls and guards walking the same route for eternity, then this is definitely the one for you. They've definitely sped up the combat though to make you feel like a little more free and excited. Oh, how fun that is! Be best if we left this behind in 2015, really, wouldn't it? Yeah. Scream Ride! Only a couple of words for this one. Never heard of it. Microsoft. And I don't care. But this, an original survival horror. Yep, it's now a third person online shooter because that's definitely the way it works. It's the easiest thing to do when you put its graphics like, they're like mud. And the controls were like to play Call of Duty with the Wii Remote and that was very difficult. So, I'm going to say no more. High hopes for this game of a money you know, I'm being serious here, you know, from from my heart I had high hopes for this game and I played the beta and I'm really glad I did because I was bored off about four games, monsters, guns and total chaos and that's everything that people want really in a game but it's really repetitive, I'd rather play Scrabble, that's how bored I got of it, it was fun but then now you have to say goodbye because Evolve is gone forever, it had its chance. So after reaching the top of its mountain, so the peak, you know, it reached the peak on its third game. Gats Out of Hell just ruined it for Saints Row, to be honest. It looked like a game from the GameCube. That's what I think. You know, the little white scraggly things that ran around and the cars just looked shit. And this may as well have been DLC. It wasn't even worth paying for a full game. You may as well have made this an add-on or an expansion pack. But it was that bad. So this game definitely created a shitstorm. Basically, the level of a Modern Warfare 2 moved into a whole game. The crazy people that made this game must have thought, let's make a game where you go around and kill people for the fun of it. This game was like a teenager screaming for attention, and a bit like Cut for Bieber, you know, when he smoked a bit of weed and everyone went crazy for attention. That was this game. They took that, squeezed it, and shoved it into a game. So, filled hard. So, I bought this game, and then I installed it because it was crap. So I bought this, oh great, I've wasted my money on a game which is just an expansion of the old game with a new skin. Oh yay, how fun is that? If you got this on PC, all you got was one game mode really, because no one else bothered with the rest. If you want Battlefield to be normal, stay with the fourth one, because this one is definitely not worth your time. Why is this one on the list, you ask? In my opinion, the only reason for this is because it didn't have multiplayer. So multiplayer or co-op, come on, that is definitely a must nowadays. Why, why, just why did they even bother with this game? It had more bugs and glitches than ever. If you brought this, then you were just as stupid as the people who made it, really. I'd rather have Squake 4, please, please let that happen. Anyway, back to this horrid thing. Don't buy it. Even me showing you footage right now is insulting. Quick, just leave. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.